It's one of the most beautiful clean sounds I've heard in a long time. In this heavy box is a guitar from Vola. And that means the voice of life and arts, which is very beautiful. But let's unbox it and see if the guitar is as beautiful as the poetic name. It's in a very nice case. That probably explains the weight. That is one of the best pack guitars I've had in a while. Right, back to it. Anything in here? No, but a lovely pocket. Oh, we've got all kinds of warranty and... Oh, there's a trem bar. There's a trem bar and a certificate of authenticity. Voice of life and arts. The Vola warranty card. And let's reveal. Oh, it's in a bag. What a great case. Mmm, that's very soft. Even though the box is heavy, the guitar is light, which is a great sign. Not into heavy guitars at the moment. Right. Can I do this bag without ripping it? Headstock reveal. Roasted maple. Oh, oh I love the smell of roasted maple in the mid-afternoon. Can I get the bag off? Come on, Andy. Don't drop the guitar. Oh, I ripped it. Did I rip it? No, it's ripped. Look at that. Okay, that is compact. It's got a big old thickish neck on it. Um, it's, it's compact. That's the word for it. It smells gorgeous. You might see that it's got an F hole just here. So it's solid down here and hollow up there. We've got um, this string separator to keep the fretboard nice and clean. Nice, nice. Take it off. That is a very interesting guitar. Look at the back. There's no plate on the back. And I always take my plates off guitars with these trems on anyway. So that's just saved six screws and a bit of plastic. It smells absolutely divine. Oh, it smells like a, an old coffee shop that is next to an old sweet shop. Oh. <laughs> I'm definitely overdoing the sniffing on this one. No, it's in tune. <laughs> Made in Japan, Vola Guitars. It's a signature guitar from Casper Jalili. It is very comfortable on the thigh there, and it's pretty well balanced. It's going forward, that's got my legs up. Pretty well balanced on the thigh, love it. We've got a one, two, three, four, five way switch. Before I get some sounds out of it, let's take these covers off the pickups. Oh, that's satisfying doing that. Feels so small, but yet I'd probably make it look tiny, but it is a full size um, 25 and a half inch scale guitar. It is quite thick and it's very resonant. I need to plug this in um, and get some sounds out of it. I'm so curious. Let's, um, yeah, let's tune it up and see what the tuning experience is like. I, I'm in a bit of shock. I am I knew it was going to be a classy looking guitar, but I think that's classy and compact, yes. This guitar is made in Japan and Vola are now shipping guitars direct to customer. So this has been sent to me exactly as it would be sent to you, which means I can report back accurately uh, how it would be to unbox a Vola. And so far, great. And tuning experience, I'm gonna bend it out just a little bit more and tune it again. The action's low, the intonation seems good. Low, we might need some attention. Tuning's good. Usually with what seems like, again, a compact guitar, I get my finger stuck in the um, in the machine heads. But I'm not doing that this time. There seems to be plenty of space for my sausage fingers. I know I'm spending a lot of time tuning this, but it's a direct-to-customer guitar. So this part of the video, this part of the experience of buying one of these is extremely important. And yes, we all want to hear what it sounds like. Got a bit of smooch on there. but. If it doesn't play well and it isn't a good guitar at the box, then all the sounds are completely pointless. So that's why I'm spending so much time on this. Also, I'm enjoying holding the guitar. There's like a matte finish and that just there is rewarding. It's given me some sense, I don't know. I'm quite sensitive in the skin there. And that's really nice. <laughs> Feel free to unsubscribe there, by the way. That, that was weird. I'll tune it one more time. Tuning is an absolute delight. These Goto tuners are phenomenal and everything's set up unbelievably. It shouldn't be this well in tune 
uh, out of the box, which is great. So I've pulled out the strings, I've really given it a good res, and I'm happy that this is now stable after probably the least amount of tuning I've done on an out of the box of guitar in as long as I can remember. So I wanna hear how this sounds. Uh, let's do neck pickup first. Fender Deluxe reverb with some reverb, clean, and then a bit of delay as well, just to hear how this um, starts off. I'm, I'm really excited. Lovely. Um, extremely comfortable guitar to play. Uh, I'll go through the specs and stuff, but first impressions of this thing is it is a professional instrument. And what I mean by that, professionally built, made for people that want to slide around the neck, and that is an absolute joy. This, I've got to show you, this is one of the best necks I've ever played in my life. It's absolutely gorgeous. Satin, silky, smooth, and there's enough of it. I'm blown away. Um, we'll talk about the specs of the guitar and everything in a moment, but I'm gonna go run you through the, the sounds of the pickups. We've got the humbucker, single humbucker, HSH, and then we've got a five-way, which works as you would expect it to, like on a Strat. And then we've got a little switch here, which splits the coils of the humbuckers. And then we've got volume tone. Let's have it on humbucker mode first, and I'll do split coils later. Let's, um, let's stay with clean. Very balanced. Um, everything's sticking out in a in an almost compressed way. I'll try something a bit more raucous and see if that stays with it. <laughs> Let's go over the specs. Now this shape is what Vola calls the Vasti shape, which is very T-inspired. And this is the KJM, the Casper Jalili signature, which has a chambered older body. So we've got this F hole up here, and then that's all solid down there, or possibly more chambered. Nope. Chambered at the top. Then bolted on with these four golden bolts is this roasted maple neck, which is one piece with a skunk stripe meaning that we have no fretboard glued on here. This is all one piece, and it's a Vola call a classic Vola C, or it's not a modern C, I don't think it's that. It's, it's very, very full. I would say vintage, so they're calling it classic. 12 inch radius, uh, 22 stainless steel frets, which I would say are sort of medium jumbo. And then we've got a 42 millimeter nut. We've got HSH pickups, which are made by Vola, as I just said. This is the Vola VHC humbucker. And in the middle of those two is the Vola VS single coil. And I wanna show you this like that. We've got the strap buttons, which make it very balanced. And I can't wait to do the strap test later because I think, I think it's gonna be one of the most balanced guitars I've ever done. We'll find out. Down here, we've got the five-way switch, volume, tone, and coil split. Then we have the Goto 510TS um, FE1 trem, which has a push-in bar, but it also kind of screws as well, so you can't pull it out. And when you want to pull it out, you have to unscrew it. But it's quite happy to sit there like that and spin around. And then, interestingly, there's no plate on the back. This is fully open always. And there you can see this huge shiny steel block. 
which must be adding something to that tone. Let's not go into that conversation, but it feels and looks like a professional uh, block. What else can we talk about? Right, tuners. How do I forget the tuners? These are Goto locking tuners, and they are not cheap. They've performed wonderfully so far. And as with every Voli, you get a little QR code uh, on the headstock. I will, of course, open this up and see what the electronics are going on inside, but everything feels quality. Ah, GraphTech Tusk Nut. So that's why this tuning stability is great. And also this, it's not a GraphTech string tree, but it, it's doing its job wonderfully. Are they staggered tuners? They are, these are staggered. Right, um, I just wanna play this guitar. So let's get some sound samples. I'll stay clean for a little bit. And yeah, I'll switch between the two amps, the Fender Deluxe Reverb and the Victory Sheriff 25, plus a bunch of pedals. That's on the fourth position, so going between that neck and that middle, that middle pickup is just great. But I want to hear how this bridge pickup sounds like through some rock, so let's plug it in to the Sheriff 25. <laughs> In, it's it's quite harsh in a, in a kind of I think that's going to come through in a, in a band mix, but on its own sounds quite in your face. Not a bad thing. It's just oh my goodness, not really a criticism because this is a signature model. But I'm having trouble getting my finger to turn that on and on and off or up and down with that being in the way. But the signature artist Casper he can do it really well. So it must be, it's that finger. Blame my finger. <laughs> Stays in tune pretty darn well. Um, I don't know how old these strings are. They are Daddario's. They're not the coated ones or anything super special, but um, that's amazing for tuning stability, for having the fact that it's come out of the box. <laughs> feel it vibrating inside this chamber. Well done, Vola. Um, it's, it's so silky and smooth, this neck, it's kind of putting me off. It's like, it's, it's like, it's unnaturally silky and smooth which I really, really like. I don't mean that's a bad thing. I mean that I, I, I'm really trying to choose my words carefully here. 
I enjoy that neck so much that the feel of it is distracting me from playing because I'm used to having some fight against those bends. And there's not. It's just it's just pure ease, which means the rest of it is my playing when it doesn't sound very good. Um, I want to try something fuzzy, you know, something really nasty to see if I can get that chambered body to, you know, feed back. <laughs> feedback and I love it because I feel as if I'm having a conversation with the guitar and that one was a little bit more difficult to coax out what I wanted but once it got it it once it understood what I wanted it to do it did it I don't know if you like feedback I don't frankly I don't care and I don't care if you skip that part of the video but I, I love it because it helps me feel an instrument and that's good I can see this coming up in a lot of future recordings. <laughs> I should also point out this is available in black, but black doesn't show up very well on camera, which is why I went for the white. And if it looks slightly pink, it's possibly because it's reflecting my, my red shirt. But it is white, it is gold hardware and a black pickup, and I think it looks absolutely brilliant. What a stunning guitar. All right, here we go, a moment of truth. What's going on inside? Oh, that is beautiful. Look at that. Japanese guitars are possibly my favorite built guitars in the world because you get this wonderful craftsmanship at such a great price point or relatively great price point. We've got an orange drop capacitor on what look like CTS pots. They look like dimples as well, which may mean they have a built in treble bleed in them. I can't confirm nor deny that. Then you got this switch for splitting the, the coils and then we've got vintage wiring on a very nice switch. That's a professional switch. That is exactly what I was expecting to see inside. Beautiful craftsmanship and money spent where it should be spent. Build quality is, is second to none. I mean, the, the Goto hardware is absolutely perfect and the same that Ibanez uses or very, very similar. The Vola pickups are, again, an enigma. And these knobs, they, they must be those CTS. Um, they feel like them, they're so smooth. And this switch is a professional switch. Everything is just so pro. It's so comfortable to play. I need to do the strap test. Right, here we go. Yeah, it's perfect. The balance is absolutely perfect. There's, there's no, there's no neck dive. It doesn't feel heavy. Everything just fits. If we're gonna get um, into the nitty gritty, this F hole here, it's not been painted perfectly. It's pretty darn good, but there's a little bit of discoloration, discoloration even. And the same can be said for the inside of there. But for 1,300 euros, that is more than forgivable because everything else is bang on. What an amazing guitar. As I mentioned earlier in the video, Vola are shipping direct to customer now, so there's no middleman to add on some more money, which is why the prices have changed recently. Uh, or will change depending on when you're watching this video or have changed again, you know, because the way time works. But what I will say is that for the money that this costs right now at filming of this video, it's over delivered everything it needs to for this price point and it comes with a case. Let's quickly talk about a case. The case is soft and padded. It is got this little hard thing on the bottom so you can put it down on the floor when you're waiting for the bus and it also secures it in there with the neck, just there, like, so you can strap it in and, and take it to bed at night. Um, and that also comes out if you want to adjust it, if you want to put a different guitar in there. But that would, it looks small. Will it fit a standard Strat? Hang on. Have I got, no, there's a telly there. Will it fit my Fender telly? Yes. Almost. Hang on. We'll find out if the Vasti is actually smaller than a telly as well. So does the telly, the telly does fit in there. It's snug, 
pretty much perfect actually. Ah, yeah, there's a there's also an extra pad down in there that I could take out, but I'm not going to. Hang on, let's try the the vasti in there and see how. No, let's try the vasti up against the telly. Right, vasti, telly, leg leg. About the same, but the vasti feels so much more compact. The vasti feels like a natural modern progression of a Telecaster. And I wish that Vola did this with this neck in a more tele uh, configuration. There are links on your screen and in the video description and first comment to get you to this guitar. This delivers unbelievable value for money. It's just a question of whether the sound is right for you. There is a link right there to subscribe to the channel. Do that because then you'll hear more from this guitar. There's a video there for you. And as always, I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.